get some stories started that are all good. Brought to you by our dear friend, Atlanta United digital host, Beth Keener's in the house. What's up? Thanks for having oh, me. Beautiful. I'm so happy to see you. Yes. I know I heard you earlier talking about, oh, this weather. I, it just, and I think we have a week of it. I we heard. have a week, and it's so chilly, too. It's one yeah. thing if it's rainy and you're like, you feel... Uh, you feel at least good because it's warm, but when it's cold, all you want to do is lay around, right? snuggle up, which isn't a bad idea. Like for me, if being married, we watched Bohemian Rhapsody last oh, night. Oh, how was it? It I was see really it. Good. good. I'm trying to catch up on those Oscar contenders right. for the weekend. For the weekend, we mm -hmm. got to do that. So it is the perfect weather uh, for snuggling up, get your, your warm blankies and enjoy some movies. But right now, we're going we're gonna to just pretend we're channeling warm spring-like yes. thoughts uh, yes. with happy news. So let's dive right in. Let's dive right Right in. So this first story is about a New Jersey police officer who went into a diner and his server was seven months pregnant um, and she's 27 years old, 23 years old, seven months oh, pregnant. Wow. And he overheard her telling another one of her tables about her pregnancy. It was her first. So on his way out, he left a tip. What? Her tab what? or his tab was eight seventy five. <gasps> he left a hundred dollars. What? Paying it forward. And he look at his little note. Oh. He said, "Enjoy your first. You will never forget it." Oh, that is amazing! Look how beautiful she is. She's such a lovely girl. Can you imagine that treat? Like you're looking down, thinking, "What did I get? A buck or two? Because yeah. you know we didn't eat much, or maybe I had just something to drink." That was so generous and incredible. So generous. Her dad was excited, was trying to get this officer's name. He wanted to remain anonymous. And so uh, the dad posted on Facebook and he said he just wanted to put good that police officers are yes, doing out there because out into the world. a lot of people are seeing the negative. Right, so we have to always make note. And that's really what this segment is all about, whether it's homecomings, reunions, uh, it, it's really just about sharing something bright because we get enough of the negativity elsewhere. You know we do. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's great that he said, look, I know you didn't want to be recognized for this, but I'm just going to give you a kudos. Yeah, kudos whoever you are yes. out there, Mr. Police Officer. That's right. Thank you for being kind and generous. I love that yes. one. Yes. All right, next up we have a bookshop owner in Italy, and this guy's really great because he is actually trying to teach children not only or, or show them a passion for reading, but also how to love on the environment. His name is Michelle Gentile, and he is offering free books for one can and <laughs> one plastic bottle. So kids can bring them in and then get a free book. And so he's hoping that this will be a small way to foster love for reading yes. while loving on the environment. And look at that. They're like, okay, we got to bring it in. Then we get to have a, a book. But it it's really starts that young, I think, you know. It does. We're talking about with the money, with the finances, with all of the important things in life. You got to get them creating good habits at, at that young age. Absolutely. And he's created a a, a huge initiative now in northern Italy and it's really taken off. Yay! Yeah. I love that. And I love to read. You know, I went through a phase in school where I love to read and then as I got older I was like, uh -uh. I was in college, I was like, I read enough. It's called right. textbooks. Exactly. But it's now called study. I'm back. Yes. Yeah. But getting back into it, it's it's such an important part of my life and, and this is a great way to get kids started. Well, and it's the perfect thing. I know we all love to binge watch our shows, mm -hmm. but um, that is one of my resolutions for the year has just been taking a break and just lying in bed before you go to bed with a great thing just kind of go back to a to a good old-fashioned book and I like the paper yes. books I don't I do too I'm not good with I the digital fold some stuff corners. I want to highlight some stuff yes me too yeah. I just have them by the bed it and they smell looks, good I know <laughs> go go with paper guys forget the digital yes absolutely um, I love that one all That's right cute. so this next story is about a seven-year-old who I just Watching this this kid talk on videos is amazing. His name's Roman, but they call him Roman the Rescuer because oh. at PetSmart one day he saw dogs that were, were needing homes. And so he said to his mom, you know, where are these dogs going? And she said, well, they're trying to find a family. And at four years old, he wanted to help. So by seven, he has now created his own nonprofit. He's helped over 1,500 dogs find Look homes. At that. He's 1500 using, yes. at the ripe old age of 7. At <laughs> right, yeah, he's ripe. Wow, <laughs> that is a pretty impressive. I mean, there are adults who probably have uh, accomplished that that goal and and really just to be so compassionate and loving. Again, if we talk about these kids, uh, they're doing their parents are doing something right. They must be. Yes. He was ASP wait. 
let, let me ASPCA that's right ASPCA yes um, kid of the year and here's what he said he said I just I wanted to know what I could do to help because I saw that most of these dogs were not getting adopted and I just was really worried if they couldn't find a home they might get put down yes and his mom's right. just like wow seeing this kid take initiative and I really love create that. love for animals was just fantastic fantastic we got to keep the the good news going we'll post that one online if you want to find out how how you can get involved and most importantly if you have an it's all good story, please share it with us. It's facebook.com slash ATL and co or tweet us using the hashtag. It's all good. And Beth is all good. And we're so happy she's going to be back here uh, tomorrow and Friday. Yes.